Again, it's a pleasure to have you with us right here on KTN Prime. Let's get you informed. Now, the parliamentary leadership of both the National Assembly and the Senate are racing against time to come up with an ad hoc committee comprising of both the ruling and the opposition party in a bid to kick off the bipartisan parliamentary engagement to address the issues raised by the Azimula Omoja One Kenya Party leader, Rilo Dinga. Already, President William Ruto has tasked his Kenya Kwanzaa leadership in Parliament to prioritize the formation of a team and strategy to work on the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission debacle, as was the first step after both the head of state and Rilo Dinga climbed down from their hard stances. KTN's political affairs reporter Emmanuel Tor with the details of day one of the seven-day ceasefire ultimatum by the president and the former prime minister. This matter can be handled in parliament by a bipartisan parliamentary process. We stand down our demonstrations for Monday, that is tomorrow, April 3rd, 2023. Barely hours after both President William Ruto and Azimio leader Raila Odinga struck a ceasefire deal that ended the two-week nationwide demonstrations, the head of state has embarked on a race against time to fulfill the promises contained in the Azimio Law Moja One Kenya counter offer, which accepted the olive branch from the ruling party. The president Monday meeting the parliamentary leadership of both houses to consider the proposal for a bipartisan approach to addressing the matters raised by the opposition. The president directing the leaders to treat the matters with utmost priority. The head of state also tasked the leaders to come up with a formula to nominate members from both political divides to an ad hoc committee to fast track the issues. The bipartisan approach, in my view, would uh, include probably an ad hoc committee since there is no standing committee that uh, would uh, look at many of the issues uh, that have been proposed. The president remaining confident that the issues would be conclusively handled by parliament in order to allow focus on economic transformation program. The committee is expected to have two co-chairs and an equal number of members from both the ruling party and the opposition party. Azimir is also said to be in high level consultations to identify members to the committee. We agree that a balanced parliamentary process co-chaired by both sides and backed by uh, experts from outside uh, should proceed. It will be up to the committee to decide how do we address issue number one, how do we address issue number two. Uh, but I think the most important thing is uh, uh, what I did hear the president say that we must all act in line with the constitution and the laws that are there. In 2016, a joint select committee on matters related to IBC was chaired by the then Senators James Oreng of Siaya and Kiraito Murungi of Meru with 14 members drawn from both parties. However, Kenya Kwanzaa has maintained that the ongoing truce should not be confused with a handshake. There is nothing touching on a handshake. The bipartisan approach is an approach that looks at the interest of the country over and above the partisan interest. This comes as the director of public prosecutions, Nordin Haji, dropped charges against six Azimio MPs, among them National Assembly Majority Leader Opio Wandai and his Senate counterpart Stuart Mazayo. The opposition leader had asked the president to unconditionally release those arrested during the demonstrations as a sign of goodwill for standing down. The developments are expected to jolt the IBC selection panel, which has already advanced with the selection process, with at least 920 people applying to replace the six IBC commissioners and 25 throwing their hats in the ring for the electoral body's chairmanship. The current bipartisan talks will be akin to the 1997 Interparliamentary Parties Group that gave way to the constitutional and statute law amendments and the process saw the first handshake between the late President Daniel Moy and Raila Odinga. Emmanuel Tor, KT News, Nairobi. Moving on, the Director of Public Prosecution, 